Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a fake GPS location on your iPhone running up to iOS 13. So the way you're going to do um, create a fake GPS location is we're going to uh, need to uh, connect to a computer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it on a Windows computer. And there are many scenarios why you may want to um, create a fake GPS location. For example, you may need to um, uh, temporarily use an app that don't pinpoint your current locations. Now let's uh, first connect your phone to the computer with the USB cable. I'm going to connect the lightning cable to the computer. Now on your computer, you need to download an application or a software called Tree U Tools. It's free. And then op after you install it, open it. So you can download from here, www.3u.com and you can download these tools here. And once you have um, connected to your mobile phone, make sure that you allow trust on your phone. If it asks you to, um, to trust the computer, make sure you tap on the trust button. Once it is connected, it should show um, your device information in here. If you click on iDevice, it will show the device information in here. Now what you want to do is click on this toolbox right here. So click on that toolbox right there. Then once you are on the toolbox tab, click on virtual locations. So click on that. And then now you need to put in the longitude and the latitude of the locations. You can also open the browser to inquire. It means um, you will, um, a browser will open with the maps. And once the Google Maps is open, you can uh, grab the locations. Or you can also use lot embedded maps with a lot embedded maps within the software right here. Now on the map here, I'm just gonna choose a random locations. And down at the bottom of the screen, there is a location that I can copy. So just copy the location. When you click on the locations at the bottom of the screen, it will pop up with a locations and you can grab that information. So here you can see on the screen right here, there is a location, just grab that locations right there, the numbers, the longitude and latitude. Okay, so with that number handy, I'm just going to copy it in, copy and paste, and I'm just going to copy and paste this number in, and paste, and then just click on modify virtual locations, and that information is now sent to the phone, it says unlock the screen, so I'm going to unlock it first, and then click on retry, and now it's modifying a, a location on the device, so it's going to spoof the locations onto the iPhone. So on my iPhone, I'm going to go and open up the maps and I'm going to tap on the current locations and you can see it pinpoints right there where I selected on the maps over here. So it will show me the location where I points on the maps right here. And that's it. So that's all you have to do. Now, whenever you use a map, it will always use the locations. So let's say I'm going to open up Facebook if I can uh, find Facebook and here it is so Facebook right here and I'm going to tap on the chicken button so just going to turn off a few things and what I want to do is tap on the Facebook chicken locations okay so here when I check in on Facebook it also uses my uh, location the spoof location or the fake locations on the phone so that's how you can do it once you have finished you can tap on or click on on the computer click on restore true locations and what it does it is simply just going to reboot the device uh, if you unplug the cables it still works fine it's still using that same location that you have uh, set on the computer and when you restart your phone so you can we start uh, by pressing on the side button and the phone will restart. Once the phone restarts, then it will use your uh, real locations your, or your true locations uh, on the device. And that's it. That's how you can uh, create a fake locations on your iPhone. Sometimes you need it. So you can do, for example, do demonstration or you just want to add a different location to the pictures that you're taking. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.